when we look at having affairs, we need to really look at what kind of an affair is this. Is this an opportunistic right. affair that is a just happening that probably needs nothing about your marriage? Is it a love affair where he's falling for somebody else? You can don't hurry towards something you don't want. If you don't want a divorce, don't run down and file. It's worth giving it some time because most of these affairs run their course. And then he may be willing to repair the marriage. If he's not willing to repair it, sorry, Charlie. Leave. It's, it's not going to work. It's just not going to come together. He has to, or she has to be willing to make some steps to regain your trust, to, in some sense, make it up to you. And there's have to be changes in the relationship. Don't think this marriage was perfect and he went off and fell in love with somebody else. That just didn't happen. Uh -huh. One way to protect your marriage is to keep engaged. Stop, look, and listen. When he comes in the room, stop what you're doing, look at him, make eye contact, smile, and listen to what he's telling you. Because men, nine times out of ten, are telling you, this isn't working for me, or my brain is somewhere else, or I don't want to be here. And if you're really looking and listening, you'll hear that. So affairs are a, a common and serious threat to marriages. You need to keep your marriage alive. You need to stay connected. And you need to set good boundaries. But if he's gone, you also have to accept that there may not be anyone else. He may just not be there. And if you're paying attention to the relationship, if you're trying to engage him, and he won't go to counseling, he won't learn how to be a better partner, because he just doesn't want to be with you, then you need to own that. Get yourself healthy and start taking care of your life and decide what's going to be best for you. And that may be leaving. Well, I love this advice. I really do because I think a lot of times we struggle with what do we do? How do we make sure? No, nobody wants stand up and, and divorce. Um, not, not ever. So you've given us some tools today. Um, I really want to thank you for joining us and talking about how if there's an affair, what do we do? So thank you, Dr. Lana Staley. Thank you.